On today's show, we have a stand-up about the basketball team and a story about paint. I'm Riley. And my name is Chase. And your name is... Oh, you're watching Seaman High Video News. News team, assemble! Hope you like that new introduction. Now on to the announcements. Students taking CEP classes for Washburn University credit, today is a deadline to enroll and get Washburn credit. Get those forms in. The Viking Variety Show auditions are being held February 5th. If you are interested in being a part of the show, grab and return the form to Mrs. Mr. Stoffer by February 3rd. This is a district-wide variety show, so if you think someone should showcase their talents, please pass on the message. It is February 12th and starting at 7 in the auditorium. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are planning on bringing a member of another school to Snowball, then you must fill out the outside date forms in Mrs. Varner's office. They are due Tuesday, February 11th. It's time to get those ACT scores up, people. ACT prep class is set for Thursday, February 13th. The deadline, is to register and s the deadline to register and submit payment is Thursday, February 6th. Forms are available in the front office. Are you paying a special date or a special occasion for a loan time? Well, on Monday the 7th, the Seaman Players is putting on a show. Come to, the, come to the auditorium and enjoy an evening of laughs and crazy antics. The entrance fee is only a small donation to the Seaman Theater Department. Are you looking for a learning and leadership opportunity? If so, then consider applying for the Topeka Zoo's Youth Council. Anyone interested, please meet with Ms. Ross to get, to get connected with a representative during scalp. Applications are now being accepted for the 2020 Kansas Future Teachers Academy. It's open to 9th, 10th, or 11th graders who wish to learn more about teaching as a career and take place this summer. Please join the Art Club Tuesday, Febu February 4th, for the next drawing night. It will be held in room 901 from 6 to 7.30, and you will be practicing drawing a clothed figure. It's a great opportunity for anyone in the community, regardless of age or ability, and have the skills to grow and connect with other artists. Hey, Riley, did you know today is Inspire Your Heart with Art Day? Whoa, I didn't know that! Aaron and Morgan have a story all about it. Good afternoon, Vikes. I'm back at it again with M Mr. McAllister and Mr. Bach. And today is January 31st, which is actually National Art Appreciation Day. So I'm going to have both of my contestants behind me paint something. So first off, let me introduce my, this contestant here. What is your name? And give me your best art. Just what do you love about art? I love colors, and I'm the painting patriot. OK. And this is Mr. Bach over here. Say something. Battle the bands. All right, we're gonna get them off painting something on the finger painting, I should say. So let's just jump in right into it. So this, let's see what their picture they're gonna be painting. Oh my God, that's my favorite painting ever. Oh, a modern art masterpiece. Art appreciation day. I'm ready. I'm open. <laughs> Pretty good right there. Okay. Yeah. A little red ochre, a little midnight. It's a happy tree. Get out of here. Whoa! <laughs> Put your fingers in your own pain. Wait a minute. That is his face. It's all face. It's a all message. Face? <laughs> it's a message. What does that symbolize? The struggle of humanity in the modern world against technology. <laughs> Mainly the phone. That is the ugliest lamp I've ever seen. Using even a finger. That's 
All right, Vikes, so they just finished up. We've got McAllister with a cat-looking person, and we've also, we also got another cat-looking person. So we're going to have you guys vote for your best-looking cat here. And now the loser, I should say, will get to get finger-painted on their face by the winner. So we'll give you a little time to vote, but who do you think has the best picture here? All right. If you'd like to vote, go to Salmon News on Twitter and cast your vote. Whoa, my heart is inspired. How about you? Um, not so much because McAllister's kind of looked like a scary clown. Well, anyway, you can vote for the winner at Salmon News on Twitter. Now on to sports. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. February 20th. Blast off. With the Battle of the Bands. One night only. Sweet intergalactic rock and roll. Knock you out of your orbital rotation. Featuring all of your favorite bands. Live in the Seaman High School Auditorium. Untamed Mustangs. Crybaby Green Beans. Dragon Shredders. No Toe. Right Side Down. Tickets on sale during all lunches beginning February 12th. Three dollars in advance. Five dollars at the door. We'll sell you the seat. But you won't need it. Because you'll be floating in zero G's. All night, night long. long. Proceeds benefit the SHS Thirst Project. Last night, the boys' swim team placed second at the Swiss City Swim Meet. The following students were named to the All-City teams. Second team All-City was Colin O'Rourke, Zach Bloom, Patrick Biggs, and Daniel Ramirez. First team All-City was Devon Applehands, Aiden Florence, and Noah Florence. Congratulations. I heard about the bus incident, and I'm glad you all made it home. If you're interested in trying out for the 2020 Viking Cheer Squad, there will be an information meeting on Wednesday in the evening. If you have any questions, please speak with Coach Geis. Today at 1.15, Ella Cadill will sign a letter of intent to play softball at Cloud County Community College. Congrats, Ella. Come out tonight and support our Lady Vikes. We caught up with the basketball player to hear about their tournament. Hey Vikes, I'm Riley and I'm here with Riley and we're going to ask her about the basketball tournament tonight. Hey Vikes, so I'm a senior on the basketball team and we have our home tournament this weekend. We started out last night with a win against, I think, a Shawnee Mission team. I'm not really for sure, but tonight we play another Shawnee Mission team and the theme is Chiefs. We had a great turnout last night with the boys basketball team in the student section, but tonight we're hoping to get some more people out there since it'll be Friday night, no school tomorrow. And then if you cheer us on to a win tonight, we'll be playing in the championship tomorrow around two o'clock. So you can come out tonight and tomorrow and support. We'd love to have you guys. Um, the theme tomorrow is a win, so yeah. All right, Riley, is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, nope, I think that's it. Go Vikes! That was awesome! Now over to the new guy with the weather. Hi, I'm the new guy with the weather, and we're here at the weather. Well, today, the high is going to be around 40 degrees, and the low is going to be around 26 degrees. Now, for your SVTV three-day forecast, Saturday is going to be about 55, while Sunday is going to be 69, and Monday, a crisp 51 degrees. Now, back to over your anchors. That's the end of your show. We hope you liked it. Tune in next time for another great story.